cow, you guys. Hello. It's going to take a minute, I think, for the stream to catch up. I am here. Um, I'm actually sewing. It's Lisa, it's absolutely beautiful here today, too. Nice and sunny, and it's just, it's just beautiful. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Deb. Oh, wow, everybody's getting in there. Good. Hi, Kim. Um, I'm working on one of my quilts today. I figured now that, um... I've somewhat got things um, emptied out, starting to get new things. I'll show you um, one of the latest things that I've gotten. It is already in stores. It is the um, Bell Island by, who's it by? I don't even know who it's, I think it's Mink and Simpson, maybe. Hang on, and I'll get it opened. Who's it by? I forget. Yeah, Minnick and Simpson. It's um. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Try to get you some pieces so that you can see. Do I want to unbundle it? Yeah, I don't want to unbundle it. Yeah. So absolutely beautiful. Creams, reds, pinks, light blues, dark blues. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I did get this in. Hi, Teresa. So I got that in, and then there's one more thing that I got in that I can show you. Um, this is the... Uh, oh, shoot. I'm going to trip myself. This is the 30s Playtime Kit. Hello, Irene from Canada. So it's the 30s Playtime Chloe's Closet Quilt. You can see down here at the bottom, I think, the name of it's down here. And um, this is a kit that I got directly from Moda. And this is currently in stores. So I'll see if I can find it and link to it below. But I am going to be working on this. Um, I figure going forward, I need to do a combination of completing old projects and working on new ones. So this is a, it's a gorgeous kit. Wait till you see it. Let me get it open. Hang on. My box got a little banged up in the traveling. I haven't, here's the pattern. And then here is the kit. This quilt finishes at 82 by 98, so it's a nice big one. But that's how it came. Oh, um, I had somebody ask about the decorations back here. This is my dressing station. And this actually was hand-painted by somebody. I had somebody come in and paint my pressing station, my cutting station, and my desk. So when I get things, um, when I get things all cleaned up in here and I'm ready, I'm going to do an overall view again of the studio so that you guys can see it. Okay. So these kits are available now. Um, I'll put a link down below when we're all done so that if you wanted it, you could go get it. But we'll be working, I'll be working on that during lives for a while because I want to make that one. And in Sunday, you guys know, was always my sew time. <coughs> so I'm going to take it back to that. So Sundays is going to go back to becoming um, the time that I sew for me and I'm really excited about that. Now as for the sale stuff, I am going to have stuff that I'll be sneaking in as we go forward 
um, same great prices that, it, that this big sale was. But um, what happened is I am now down to the point where I think I'm semi under control with what I have in here and what I don't have in here. So now I can start concentrating on um, somewhat getting back to what we all started out as here, which was just somebody coming to sew together. So I am, um, like I said, I'm working on this. This is a lion's quilt, but I decided I wanted to put sashings in between, and these are my sashings. And I've done them all this same print on the inside, which I'm excited about. So I'm going to get this quilt done. I have two rows put together. I'm going to put the rows together here. And then I've got a few more to go, but I wanted to um, work on this today. Look at this block. I love this one. Look at the teddy bear and the bunny rabbit. Isn't it just the cutest? So I'm going to work on that while we just simply chit-chat. I... um. Those of you who are on my Facebook page, I did do a, um, I put a picture of a Christmas tree napkin on there, and I did make them. I got eight made in total. I um, put some away for something I can't talk about on here, and I took the other ones to my local Bernina dealer so that he could show them because I got the fabric from him. So that's... That's what I was doing there. So, what's new for everybody? I've been um, really busy. You guys know this is the really, really busy time of year for me because I'm starting to, um, I'm starting, I'm down to the end, not starting, I'm getting down to the end of Christmas quilts. So, I am very busy at the long arm doing that. The um the fabric line Kim is um Tilda and I just love it. It's Tilda's I think it's Woodland is what it's called and it's just beautiful. I'm really really happy with it. Oh you did make it Tammy I did decide to put the trunks on the trees. Everybody said trunks, and I will, I will tell you guys all. Quite honestly, the minute I got the one done with the trunk versus without, I knew I needed the trunk. So I just easily slipped it apart and put the trunk in. Yep. Oh, Wendy, that's cool. Oh, that's wonderful. Wendy's going to be in a pop-up show on the 27th. I would think it's of this month. Yeah, it does kind of remind me, it might remind you of Winnie the Pooh, doesn't it? It's really cute fabric. It has, um, I have tried to place just the big pieces so that they are right side up. But the little pieces inside of the quilt that have um, pictures of things on it, I didn't worry about putting those right side up. I just kind of let them go. I let them fall where they would. So that's what is happening today. Is everybody... Um, Hi, Kathy Quilts. How are you feeling, dear? I hope you're doing well. So that's what I'm doing. What I, I like to do when I put my quilts together is I like to do it as I go. So I'll put, I've got two rows put together and the rest of the rows are kind of laid out in a pile next to me. They're right over here. And I like to put the two together and then I'll lay it out behind me and play with the next row and see what see what that looks like. Yes, they will, Kim. They absolutely will. I 
made a big decision this week or last week. I can't remember where when it was. You guys all know we went to Kentucky and we spent some wonderful time with Jackie, John, and their family. John did have to go to Texas while I was there, but um, he made out really well, which was fabulous news again. And I got some great time with Jackie and with the kids, which was wonderful. And then I headed back home again. And then um, this past week here, I made the final decision and I have a puppy coming. Um, they were born on October 13th, I think, or 14th, something like that. And um, they are in Kentucky. I haven't seen them yet. But on December 11th or 12th, Bob and I are going to go back to Kentucky and we're going to stop in Baghdad. If anybody's heard of Baghdad, Kentucky, I hadn't ever heard of it before. But we're going to stop there and, oh good, you're feeling better. Oh no. Oh no, Kathy, those bruises, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, you take it easy, girl. Don't get hurt again, please. So, um, we're both really excited. Um, this is going to be, this, it, nobody will ever place the take the place of Tucker in um, Rena, but I'm really excited because this one will be, be trained to be out here with me in the studio so I'm gonna have um, a puppy out here with me so when you join in on Sundays more than likely starting in December um, after the 11th obviously um, I'll have a little baby out here with me and I am very very excited about that if anybody knows where um, Baghdad, Kentucky is, do a shout out here because I have no clue as to where it's at, In, but that's where the breeder is. So if the breeder is um, Bonaventure Labradors. It's going to be um, a boy and yeah, there is a Baghdad, Carrie. Oh, there's one in Arizona too. Wow. Um, so let me go back to what I was saying. So we'll go out and get it. It's a, it's definitely a little boy and his name we think is going to be Remy. Um, we named our first chocolate lab after, um, a a Remington or after Ruger gun and so this chocolate lab will also be named after a gun our girls all have regular girls name and um, so this one will also be named that way and we think that it's going to be Remy so R-E-M-I in his registered name will be Remington Kathy we still have Rena I don't think she's in here with me now. I gotta double check. No, nope, she's not in here with me now. She really, really likes, um, yeah, like cognac. <laughs> she really likes to be in the house and she's just more attached to my husband than to me. You know, she's a, she's a girl and she's getting older. She's 11 now in, um, we just figured that it was time for a new one. Yep, he's a chocolate one. Yep. So I'm I am I'm a little ecstatic to say the least. This will be the first time since I brought home our first yellow lamb that we've had a puppy. Um, we haven't had a puppy in years and years and years. 
So, yep, Lee, he's a chocolate, and I think his name's going to be Remington. We're pretty certain. Um, Benelli was the other one, and we could call him Ben. But um, <laughs> what kind of a dog do you have, Carrie? The dogs were all confused this morning. I, well, Diane, hopefully I'm not going to get scammed because I did already pay the deposit. It, um, the, the, the breeder is Bonaventure Labradors. And, yep, it's near Louisville. And um, they have been breeding for many, many years. And um, beautiful puppies, beautiful dogs. I've seen photographs of the puppies. I'm um, waiting for a picture of the um, the all the boy puppies. I haven't gotten that one yet, but their eyes are just opening too. I know it's a lot of work and it's a um, lot of oh, Carrie, that's wonderful. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of responsibility. But my hope is to train Remy as a therapy dog too, so that he can go with me to visit my mom. So a couple of, you know, I, I'd really like to train him as a therapy dog and then that way I could take him into the schools and all of that. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. I'm a little concerned about the amount of work and all of the training that he has to go into it, but, um, but we're 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 gonna do it, and we're we're ready for it. So I, the only thing we don't have is um, I gotta go back through the dog basket and see if I have um, a dog collar because I'm not sure that I have a a puppy dog collar anymore. So I have to go check that out. But other than that, um, hopefully I won't get scammed. And I will be able to um, be able to pick them up. We actually sought out them. They didn't seek us out. I went back through another breeder's. Um, there was a dog that I really liked from another breeder. And we went back through his heritage to find, um, to find this breeder. Oh, I bet she does. She wants to eat early. Yeah, I Rena was up early this morning, but not horribly. But we have neighbors across the street that have two labs, a chocolate and a yellow. And they said that their dogs were up just waiting for, for their food. Oh, really, Tammy? If you have information on how you went about getting him certified, I would love it. Because that's a huge goal I have with this. <laughs> My sister has a doggy door that's a really cool one. It's a, um, it operates based on the collar. And the dog can just go in and out on their own. But obviously a puppy will need um, to be trained, to, to be house trained first before I can train him to do that. Oh, really? The only reason why she uses it is to go chase birds? <laughs> Our arena will go out and sit on the deck at night and protect it. Uh, my sister's dogs do that a lot. They're in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And, and as nice as that is, I am concerned that that would drive me crazy. We, we may consider it down the road, but right now, I'm not going to. Yeah, I just, I'll just take them in and out, and it'll be good for us. It'll be good for me to, to get outside with them, and it'll be, um, 
it won't be too bad. My husband is so good about helping with that kind of stuff. He he truly is very, very good about helping me with the animals. So, um, so we'll be okay. But I'm so excited. I just, I cannot wait to see to see them. If anybody's heard of Bonaventure, let me know. I've heard of the school, obviously. Uh, um, oh, really, Sherry? That's interesting. Our local kennel club was able to train us for therapy. Okay. Okay, but it was your, your local kennel club. Okay, then that's what I'll look up. Yeah, they, I just, you guys all know from being on here that Tucker was always right here with me. In, in, Guys, I miss him. Uh, you know, it's it's hard. I know this dog won't bring Tucker back, but I miss him. So it's it's time. I wish you could find a therapy dog. That would be really wonderful, Kathy. That would be really really neat. Keep keep looking around because I've been told that. There are a lot of places around here, there are a lot of places that now have therapy dogs for people. And that would be a good thing to do. Oh, Kim, that's a good question. I was wondering the same thing. Ooh, Carrie, that'll be wonderful. Make sure you share pictures of it with us. Thank you, Teresa. I just saw your message up there with the hearts and the baby bottle and the puppy. Sherry, are the dogs that you rescue puppies or are they older? What are they? And I, are they just labs or are they all different kinds? Oh, please do. And Kathy, if I hear of any places, you're out in Washington, right? You're out in the state of Washington now. I will, um, I will absolutely start looking. Oh, my daughter had a mastiff. We had Great Danes when we were growing up. Yeah, it would have to be pretty big, wouldn't it? It would be the size that a human could just crawl into. All ages. Okay, it's in Ohio. Wow. Oh, Kim, they are beautiful. My sister didn't have any problems training her dogs to go in and out the automatic doggy door and it is um the mechanism that allows it is to the um collar so you know the dog has to be in front of it but they do do a lot of in and out in and out in and out when there's a lot of people around <laughs> no a lot of people don't know a lab is a lot of work they, you know, that's what we've had all of our married life. We've had one other breed, but other than that is all we've had is labs. So um, we're pretty used to it. So I'm pretty excited. And my husband is excited. And we keep mentioning Remy to, to Rena. So Rena, hopefully Rena will enjoy him too. So... It'll be fun. 
It'll definitely um, give us something to do. This one will travel with us. It, it it'll be it'll pretty much be a uh, if if you want me to come, my dog comes too. They are very loyal, Kim. Very very loyal. So so that's what's new in our little space of the world. Other than that. Our daughter, Tracy, and her family has come down with COVID. So they are all, um, they are all definitely in lockdown. We are dropping things off at their door so that they are getting food and things like that that they need. Which, all right, here's my first two rows. Um, let me see. How do I do this? I got to think about this the right way. Um, here's my row one. So here's my row one. Which is the whole thing. There's the whole row one. And this is my row two that I'm now going to attach. So here's row two. Isn't that the cutest fabric? I just love it. Look at the trees. Yep. So that's that's what I'm working on, which I think is a good thing. I'm excited that we're gonna be getting all of this stuff that's half done finished. Once I finish this one, I have another one sitting right here waiting for me that I'll start working on next. But we got to do them one at a time because I got to get them finished, ladies, so that we can start doing new things, which will make me very happy. I like to try new different things. So what I'm doing now is just putting my rows together so that I can get them pinned. Thank you. I think it's going to be really pretty when it's done. The, the biggest thing is, is any quilt with a white background is really tough because you've got to make sure that all of your threads are hidden because otherwise they will show. Mr. Wilson just walked in the door. If you didn't hear the door squeak. Thank you, Kathy. Are you ready for a sewing swap? Good. I shouldn't be R-rated, Brenda. I'm but I'm not I'm marked as not for kids. Um, let's see. My, um, my mom is doing really good, Kay. Thank you for asking. The biggest thing is, is I still can't go. My husband, um, yes, Lori, it is, it's, um, Lion's Quilt. <laughs> That's all right, Tammy. The fabric line, um, Patricia, is Tilda's um, Woodland. And Lisa, the pattern is Lion's Quilt. It's on my website. And then what I'm doing is just putting a row of sashing in between every single block, which I didn't do on the first one. So it's, just, it's the exact same quilt, but with a row of sashing in between every one. That's what that one is. So, um, but mom's doing really good. My husband um, was near Tracy's husband on, um, I think it was Thursday. They weren't close, close, but they were, um, they, 
they were in the same vicinity. So I won't go near mom now until after, um, till after it's been 10 days. So I won't get to see mom till next week. So I haven't seen her. I, I feel horrible, but I would feel worse if I got her sick. You know, I'm not sick and I don't think, um, I have anything, but I'm not risking my mom. So, yeah. No biggie, Lori. I'm trying to go back. Fabric line I answered. Okay. I loaded the live. I got, can't upload. Turn off restrictions. I'm like, what the hey? Yeah, there shouldn't be. Of course, I'm not on live chat, which that always makes me mad. I have to change it all the time. Oh, but very warm. That'll be wonderful. Brenda, is it all is it working now? I hope it is. Okay. Very cool. I'm glad you found it. I'd never heard of it. I really hadn't. I, I had no clue that there was a bag dad in Kentucky. But it's on our way, really, to, to Jackie's, so it works out perfect. Because we'll... um. Just keep swinging down there and go see her. Which I'm very, very excited about. The kids will be able to meet the puppy. and Is it all straightened out now, Brenda? So that's what we're doing. And then on Thanksgiving Day, it's Mr. Wilson's birthday. So we'll have to um, do something to celebrate that too. Do you guys ever do that where you fold a seam over in the wrong direction? This time I'm going to fix it. I don't always do that, but this one I'm going to. So I want it to lay flat. I think I'm going to try um that one went in. So if that one goes out. I think I'm going to try to custom quilt this one. I haven't decided yet. But it's been a long time since I've done a custom one for myself. So I may actually try to do a custom on this one. Which will make me excited. There. Now it was so right. I gotta fix this first, ladies, because this will drive me crazy. Because my seam won't lay the way I want it to. I gotta fix it. Also found a lab kennel on Yelp. Is it called um, Bonaventure, Diane? Oh, what did Lisa Pegg say? Oh, I'm glad she's feeling better. Tracy's been sick for a full week. Oh, uh, yes, it's just off 64, east of Louisville, towards Lexington. Okay. Hello from Louisville. Joyce, have you ever heard of a, a breeder by the name of um, Bonaventure Labradors? I do too, Wendy, but I got to tell you, they're really hard on your long armor. It just, it, they take days. It's nothing for a custom quilt to take me a full week. And, and that's really hard. It's hard on your body and it's hard because it's difficult to justify five days that you can't be doing other quilts. 
Um, ooh, well, Tracy's a solid week today, and she's still running a fever, which worries me. Okay. I just wondered if you had, Joyce, we're going to be in your area around the 11th of December because we're going to be going to, I believe we're going right to Baghdad to pick up the puppy. Oh, I don't blame her, Wendy. Your quilts are beautiful. I'm glad she loves it. Yeah, I just haven't um, done a custom one for myself in so long that I want to do something. I need to do it. Brenda, I go through Louisville. I go right through Louisville every time I come. Do you want to meet up before or after we pick up the puppy? <laughs> we go, we go right through there. You know where the, um, you know the building where the Louisville Slugger is on it. We go right there. Thank you, Kathy. Oh. Oh, Debbie, I'm really sorry to hear that. I so hope that doesn't happen with Tracy. Her fever's not really, really high, but it's high for her. She doesn't normally get a fever. So for her to have any kind of a fever is not normal at all. I mean, we know a fever's not normal, but really, that's not normal. Nope, we go right through, I go right through Louisville. We go down, what is that, 80 or 81 or? Yeah, I think I'm on 65 for a little bit. Mr. Wilson, I need you. Mr. Wilson! He's not paying attention to me, guys. He's not paying attention to me at all. I'm in here yelling, Mr. Wilson, and he's not listening. I'm going to tell him to come in here. Bob's coming in. I'll ask him. Yeah, oh, Wendy, uh, yeah, that would be my thing. Right now, if I got sick, ugh. Oh, wow. You stayed in your room for 10 days. Wow. I can't imagine that. I need to set up a meet and greet. <laughs> I go through there quite a bit. Yeah. I As soon as he listens to me and comes in, I'll ask the question, Brenda. But so far, he's not coming in. Can't see your comment to Wendy. Um... Yeah, I did see your, I see your comment. Okay, up at the top of the chat, change it to live chat instead of um, most relevant or whatever it is. Okay, good. All right, because it's there. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bob... What, what, what are, oh, what are we supposed to, 
what road do we go on where we see that picture of the Louisville slugger? Bob thinks it's 71, or Mr. Wilson, whatever you want to call him today. He thinks it's 71 that we go down, Wendy. Or, I'm sorry, Brenda. I did shoot him a text from my computer, so I got through to him. Thank you. Oh, good, Kay. Now you'll see what's going on. I know it does say sale. I didn't get a chance. I tried to change it and couldn't. I got to fix it after we go live. I'll change the I'll change the picture to one from here. I tried to get it changed. It didn't work. But I said that I said in the title of it that we were selling. So I hope everybody forgives me for that one. It didn't mean to be to not do it right. Aw, Brenda, you're sweet. That's okay, Deb. I got it. The box is still here for you. Just let me know. I saved it. Everybody needs to come to North Carolina. Could you imagine what we would be doing if we all went to North Carolina? Everybody would need their sewing machines, and we would need to all just sit there and sew forever and ever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but we think my grandson got it at work. And that's what started it was him. But so far we're good. So I'm not going to stress about it. Oh, Christine, wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah, I, Kathy, I really did sell a lot of stuff. And I probably am going to have more. I'm just not ready to go yet. I just, I'm not ready. Oh. Yeah, there's a, um... There's a lot of it going around in our county again. It, well, be careful, Kay, if you go to it. So raid at Wendy's. Oh, that would that would be wonderful. We'd all have a blast there. Okay, I will send you the info. I'm pretty excited about it. I, I, I mean, I hope, I hope I don't get scammed, but I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, and and the the dogs are just, they're beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So hopefully. We are, we're good to go. Oh. That was right. Remember, Deb, you told her to, to give her that piece of, you told me to give her the piece of the B fabric? I did. Out of that scrap fabric. Brenda, I'll let you know when we come that way again, okay? I don't, I'm fairly certain I won't be coming until December. I just don't see that we will be. And, you know, unless Jackie needs me for some reason. We're, um, Rolene, we're talking about my new puppy, which I'll be getting in December. 
and we've been talking about the sale and I'm working on Lion's Quilt. I am determined that I am going to get a whole bunch of my old projects done. Do you know anyone whose name starts with the letter J? Oh, that's for Wendy. I know lots of people that start with the letter J, but I'm not Wendy. I'm Margaret. So I'm almost done with row two, and that was my goal to get done during live. So then I'll show you what it looks like. Once I get these two rows done, I will um, set my seams. I will press it. Um, I'm getting a chocolate lab rolling, and I'm very excited about him. It's going to be a, a little boy. Um, I'll press it, and then I'll lay out my next row. And then if I get down to the very bottom and it doesn't look good, then I've got a problem. And I can't do a thing about it. But I did a, a quick layout of it earlier. So um, I have an idea of what I want where, but now I gotta fine tune it. There. Okay, two rows done. It's going to be a big quilt. We're going to have to put it on our bed. Let's see. At Dr. Friday took me... Oh, wonderful, Brenda. Oh my gosh, how did you do it? Uh-oh. Oh, Christine, that's not good. Brenda, how did you do it? I could stand to lose 45 pounds. <laughs> okay, here's the first two rows, guys. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, guys, I'm in love with it. Look. Oh! Okay, let's start at this end. Look at this. Look. Oh, I'm really, oh, guys, I'm really pleased with this. Look, look, look. Here we go. Very, very cool. Me too, Rolene. I love it. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm going to hang it back here so that we can look at it while we talk. Oh, isn't it going to be pretty? Oh, I'm very happy with it. Woo! Cool, dudes. That looks good. How big are the center squares? Um, I'm gonna, where's my measuring tape? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Um, the center squares are finished at eight and a half inches. Center is eight and a half. And the other strips are, yeah, it is going to be big. The, um, these strips are all, these are all two and a half inch strips. Yeah, it'll go on my bed probably. Oh, that's pretty. I'm very happy with that now. Um, Wendy, I think it's going to be six by seven rows. I think. Thank you. Only beef, bacon, eggs, and cheese. No carbs. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Holy cow. So you just ate red meat, bacon, and so what about chicken and pork, any of that? Eggs and cheese. Deb, I got no clue what I'm going to call it. But I really like it. I'm very happy with it. It was lion's quilt. Lion's quilt with sashings. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I do really like it. It's coming out very pretty. And, and I don't like necessarily sewing with a lot of white because threads show through it. But I'm very, very happy with that one. Now I can't wait to press it and finish it. Oh, well. Um, let's see. Okay. Um. Oh, Wendy, I can't imagine how I'd be without carbs. Brenda, how about things like honey? Corner of Lions. That works, Christine. Thank you. <laughs> mm, Brenda, I am interested. Except for I don't know that I could go without carbs. But I could stay and lose 45 pounds, that's for sure. That's what I'm hoping Remy's going to help me do. Get out and get some exercise because I have to walk him. Rena doesn't want to walk with me. Yes, yeah, she would have to stop making bread. And then we wouldn't all be able to get that visual craving that we get from you for breads. Because we do get it from you. We love your breads. We love watching it. Oh, this is cool. I'm very pleased. I hope you, uh, I think that's going to look cool, ladies. I think I have another thing up. Yeah, I do. I could put one more row of this up. It fell. Here's my next strip. I could put that on while we're sitting here. I could start pinning it at least. I'll start pinning it. Um, no, nothing sweet, not even stevia. Ooh. Well, that's good if you like fish. I'm not a big fish eater. How did I do the colored corners? Um, in the directions, it shows you. What you do is you square up this black, and then you just add those. Yeah. You're right, Lee. Some of them are. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, um... Yeah, there's a, a lot. Now, tonight for dinner, we're having, well, Bob's having game. And I'm having cauliflower and broccoli and peppers and green beans. And then I'll do Italian sausage. I know, no wine. Just fish for me. Um... Well, just certain fishes, freshwater fishes. I like saltwater fishes, like I love wahoo, um, and then I like my shellfishes, but I, I don't like freshwater fish, or I don't care for it. Every once in a while, I've had some that I really like, but, but it usually has to be like batter fried or something like that, which, of course, that takes all the health away from it. Thank you. I'm very, very pleased with how it looks. Very pleased. I'm looking at what I did here, and I think I'm backwards. Now I know I am. Okay. I'll have to fix that, too. I have to have my seams going the right way. It kind of drives me crazy, especially because I know what I want to do with it, with the quilting. 35 pounds from having to be on a liquid diet for seven. Oh, Julie, that's not fun. Bambi and Thumper. <laughs> well, 
my husband's having tenderloin for dinner tonight, Christine, so you'll really be envious of him. He's very excited. He's, he's having tenderloin, which he can have it. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Well, I, I haven't lost the weight, so I guess I don't have to worry about it. But congratulations to you ladies who have. It's not easy to do. Okay, I will. I'll get it. I'll get it to you. It's just, um, it's not a hard one. And the only thing different that I did from the quilt itself is I did, um, sashing strips, okay? Ah. Uh. I bet it is great living near the ocean. I wish I did. Look up Ken Berry on YouTube. Okay, I will. The proper human diet. All right. Um, what are you doing, Diane? I missed that. Oh, yeah, I don't want to lose weight because I'm sick. That's not why I want to do it. So we'll see what Remy does. Hopefully Remy will get my butt out there walking with him because he'll need to be walked. So hopefully he will. And then it will just become part of our ritual. So. I'm pinning my other board around. I do too, Julie. I hope you're doing better. I'll try to get the, um, the picture changed so that people aren't confused. In that there wasn't a sale today. There's not going to be a sale for a little while. I'll let you guys know when I when I get to the next stage and I'm and I'm ready to unload a whole bunch more. But I think for right now I've done the major um the major overhaul and I'll be working now I'm kind of working at sorting things and getting things put where they need to be so that I can easily find it depending upon what I'm working on. So that'll happen probably next. And then we'll have another sale for that. Okay. Brenda, I won't recognize you when I see you. There's no way I will. Oh, Vicky's here. Hi, Vicky. All right, guys. I have to go get ready because my grandson is coming to spend a little bit of time with me. And um, so that means I'm off into the house. You too, Kim. Have a good afternoon, okay? So I am taking my quilt and I'm out of here. I'm going to go get ready for Boone and then get ready for dinner. So here's the quilt. This is where I'm at with it so you can all see. We'll see how much I get done for next week. Hopefully, I'll get some done for next week. All right. So, we'll see you then. Oh, okay. Did that help? I hope it helps because I know that's painful. All right. Bye, everybody. Don't forget, do a thumbs up on your way out. Please, 
and I will see you next week, okay? Take care, everybody. Bye.